Hey, hey, and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. This is Chad from Ascension Worship. This week, again, coming to you from the City Worship Studio in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, this week, I want to show you a quick video demonstrating some differences in microphone technique um, and uh, how people are holding the microphone. This would be a really good resource to share with your team if you're having any issues with this. So let's take a look. Hey, 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 what do you say? Yes, it's that time again. It's Tech Tuesday. So this week we are using two common microphones. I'm talking into a Shure SM58 at the moment, and we'll also do a test on the Sennheiser E835. Both are common $100 cardioid microphones, uh, both great choices for church, um, whether wireless or wired. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys about some common ways that people tend to hold the mics. So right now I'm using what I'm going to refer to as the open position. You can see the mic is pretty close to my mouth. Um, and I've got my hand beneath the, the ball of the microphone. Um, so that is the most common, um, proper way to do it. And we'll also talk about uh, two other positions. One will be the ring position, which is where someone's maybe holding their hand kind of up on the ball a little bit, but they're not covering it. Uh, so we'll call it the ring or mid position. And then we're finally going to talk about the disputed uh, knuckle position or um, closed position, however you want to call it, um, which makes you look really cool. Um, makes you look like you're in a hardcore band, but you'll see in sound, it, it does create something different. Um, so let's get right into it. Again, I'm on the Shure SM58. This is the open position, check one, two, one, two. And then I'm gonna go to the mid position where my hand's just kind of around the ring. Check one, two, one, two. I immediately hear a little difference in the overall clarity. Um, so the high end seems to be lacking uh, and the mids just sound really kind of closed off um, and Ironically, they sound closed off, but also exaggerated at the same time. It just sounds very telephonic is the way I would describe it. And then here is the knuckle position, the closed position. Check one, two, one, two. And this is definitely the worst sounding of the three. Um, so hopefully this is obvious in your speakers that you're listening to this on, um, but definitely is lacking in clarity overall. So again, I'm going to switch between the two most extremes. So this is the knuckle, one, two, one, two, and the open, one, two, one, two. Knuckle position, one, two, one, two, P's, B's, T's, and S's. Open position, check one, two, P's, B's, T's, and S's. So pretty big difference on this microphone. Let's take a look on the Sennheiser. All right, the Sennheiser for my friend Heisers. <laughs> so this is, a, again, the open position. So the microphone is close to my mouth. I'm, I've got my hand to where it's on the taper. My thumb's just touching the ring, but it's not actually uh, covering anything up. Um, so check one, two, one, two. Check one, two, one, two. Here is the mid position, the ring. Check one, two, one, two. Now on this microphone, I hear less of a difference when I do this compared to on the, the Shure. Um, and that's just a design thing. I've noticed that the um, where the ring is in comparison to the rest of the microphone, it seems like if you do this on the Sennheiser, your hand is, uh, is not covering up as much of the actual capsule. So you can see it's a small difference, but it does seem to sound better this way compared to on the Shure. Um, but now let's compare the knuckle position. So here's the knuckle. Check one, two, one, two. And again, it sounds terrible. It sounds very telephonic when I do that. So again, here's knuckle versus open. Check one, two, one, two. Knuckle versus open. Check one, two, one, two. And uh, so on either microphone, it definitely sounds better when you have the microphone uh, in the open position, when you're holding your hand below uh, the ball. Uh, so I hope this has been helpful for you. Please feel free to share this with your team. But when you do that, do it in love. Uh, we don't want to be passive aggressive and like, see, I told you. Um, but we want to give them a clear example of why we encourage people to hold the microphone like this. So the other thing too, without getting into a lot of it, it definitely sounds better when the microphone is close to your mouth versus far away. Um, you're able to get more gain. You get more body to the vocal. Um, but today, definitely show them that it sounds a lot better this way than it does this way. Until next time, have a great week.
Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.